and even self and one federal high court for Yenegua by also state they don't sentence one Yunusa Dahiru and to 26 years inside the prison. Sick of him being kidnapped, S.A. Oruru will be teenager that time. The police from March 2016 be arrest Dahiru for five counts charge and with the border on top of abduction, kidnap, unlawful canal knowledge plus a sexual exploitate of Oruru. It will be 14 years old that time. And then when they, mean they deliver the judgment on Thursday, Jane Yang, the judge, he find uh, the hero guilty on top of four out of five of the charges against them. And on top of count one, they find them not guilty. Count two, then Samaran, five year sentence. On top count three, in Colobi, seven years. And on top count four, now seven years. The judge Yang said the sentences, so then go wrong at the same time. And this one means say the convict go only spend seven years inside prison. When I mean the year and after the matter uh, come become public, Balada Hero Yunusa Papa declared say no marriage being shared between his son and SA and because uh, if they illegit. I'm not comfortable with the part of the judgment that said the sentence should run consecutively. That's the only aspect I'm not comfortable with. Though we had some challenges during the course of the trial, there are six other witnesses we needed to have called. In this matter, two of them residents here, four of them in Kano, but none of them was available. The very little girl kidnapped out of uh, Bayasa State came in in, in, in a, a, I would like to say, a battered situation because she came in with pregnancy, a very little girl. And so we said that justice must be done in this case. That is why we followed this case of Abuja. Aware, and at the end of the day, today the justice we are seeking for has been done. My message for pedophiles out there is that, um, you know, um, it's to serve as a serious deterrent to perpetrators out there, and um, justice was fair enough in this matter. This case is really, we serve a deterrent to others who have been trafficking people's children, and uh, I thank God that the truth has prevailed today. Thank God. And my family, we are very happy.